Hello, dear students. This is Dr. Pino, and today we are going to speak about density. Density is the relationship between mass and volume. As you can see here, is the mass divided by the volume. So the mass will be equal to the multiplication of the density times the volume. And the volume can be calculated dividing the mass over the density. The density is given in grams per cube centimeters in the case of solids and grams per milliliter in the case of liquids. The mass is usually in grams and the volume in cube centimeter or milliliter for solids and for liquids. Here we have an object that has a volume of 825 centimeter cube or cube centimeter. And the density is 13.6 grams per cube centimeter. And you have to find out the mass of the solid. So you have the given units are a, 825 cube centimeter, that's the volume. And here you have the density. In this case, the both number has three significant figures. So the division or multiplication will produce a number with three significant figures. In this case, you have to multiply in order to calculate the mass. You have to multiply the density times the volume. Then you multiply 13.6 grams per cube centimeters times 825 cube centimeter. The answer will produce a big number. A, a 11,200 grams. Is this number the right one? Well, let's see. How many significant figures we have in this number? Oh, only three, because there is not a decimal point. So these two zeros are trailing and are not considered significant figures. Then this answer is correct because this number has three significant figures as the number of significant figures in the given numbers. Let's continue to the following exercise. Here we are going to calculate the density and we have a metal cube that has a mass of 20.0 grams and a volume of 5.0 cube centimeter. What is the density? Well, density is always, always mass over volume. Remember, show all work in order to receive all the credits. Because if you only put your answer and the answer is wrong, you get a zero. But if you show the work, and there are some steps that are correctly, then you will receive partial credits. Well, in this case, you have to divide 20.0 grams, three significant figures, by 5.0 cube centimeter, two significant figures. The answer is 4.0 grams per cube centimeter. And this number has two significant figures that coincide with the number of significant figures in the volume. That is the lower number or the number with least this uh, significant figure. And the answer must have two significant figures and the units are very important. 
in this case, uh, you have how to calculate the volume of a solid by measurement if it is a, a, a cube or, or a, a figure with three dimensions, then you calculate it multiplying the length by the uh, width by the height. In the case of a cylinder, well, if the volume of a cylinder is pi, uh, the radius uh, a square or the square radius times the height of the cylinder. In this case, for example, you have a, a box that is four centimeters, uh, 10 centimeters and three centimeters. Then the volume will be multiplying four times 10 times three, and it will uh, be in this case, 40, let's see, using the calculator, 40 times three will be 120. Oh, 120 cube centimeter. But what happened? That all the numbers have, one significant figure, then you cannot report 120 because 120 has two significant figures. The closer number with one significant figure to 120 is 100. So the answer will be 100 a cube centimeter. That's the volume. When you have a solid that has not a regular shape, then you can determine the volume by water displacement. In this case, you have the volume of a liquid that can be water in a graduated cylinder. In this case is 11.2 milliliter. And when you put inside the, the solid, the volume raises to a number. In this case, it's 11.8 milliliters. If the mass of the solid is 5.00 grams, then you can calculate the different, the, the volume of a solid by calculating the difference of volume at the beginning and at the end. Then 11.8 milliliters minus 11.2 milliliters uh, give you 0 0.6 milliliter. In this case, uh, this is the volume of the solid in milliliter. The density will be then the uh, division between mass and volume, 5.00 grams divided by 0 0.6 milliliter give, according with the cal calculator, 8.3333 grams per milliliter. But what happened? That the volume has only one significant figure. So you have to report only one significant figure in your answer. Then the answer will be eight grams per milliliter. But as we are talking about a solid, and you know that one milliliter is equivalent to one cube centimeter, then you can say that the, the volume, sorry, the density of the solid is eight grams per cube centimeter. Uh, when we are going to find out the, the density of the liquid, we have to measure the mass of an empty uh, graduated cylinder. In this case, it's 35.0 35 grams. And you add a, a certain volume, 45.0 milliliter. And the mass of the 
solid, sorry, the, the graduated cylinder and the liquid is 75.5 grams. So what is the mass of the liquid? The difference between 75.5 grams minus 35.0 grams give you 40.0 grams. And the density is mass over volume. So you divide 40.0 grams by 45.0 milliliter, and according with the calculator, give you this uh, number. But as both numbers, the mass and the volume have has three significant figures, you have to report three significant figures. Then you round up this A to nine, and you get the final answer in grams per milliliter. Let's see when you have a, a solid and the mass is given in kilograms, for example, and you are supposed to, uh, to report the mass in grams, and the volume is in centiliters and you have to report this in milliliter. Well, you divide mass by volume and you get, uh, for example, 0 0.673076 kilograms per centiliter. But according with the number of significant figures applying the rules, you have to report only two significant figures because the 52 has only two significant figures. No matter that this has three significant figures, you have to follow the rules of significant figures in division. So you make a mark here and you don't round up here. You have to round out at the end. Then you have to convert kilograms and into grams, and you know that one kilogram is a thousand grams. So you can cancel kilogram with kilogram and your answer will be in grams. And you know that one centiliter is to 10 centiliter. You put this way in such a way that you can cancel centiliter with centiliter and the answer will be in milliliter. Doing all the math, you get that the final answer is 6.7 grams per milliliter. These are the correct answers, and this is the correct number of significant figures. Two significant figures at the end. Well, remember two things. In all chemistry, we are going to apply dimensional analysis to do the math in all the uh, problems. And you have to apply the rules of the uh, significant figures according with the operations. You have to convert units to give the answer in the units that you are asked for, and also you have to apply the rounding up rules. Please be careful with your calculation and remember always show all your work in order to receive all the credits. Bye.